This is another application of solubility in here we're given molar solubility and we want to know what is KSP. So what we should do is we should write our dissociation equation. Hopefully you're seeing a pattern. So we get two silver plus ones. Yeah, you gotta remember those polyatomic ions now. After we write our equation, write the expression for K. This is a solid, so it doesn't count. Ag plus one. And we need to square that. Okay, make the ice table. None of our solid. We start out with nothing. Then we get two S and then we get solubility. So we get 2s and s. Now here, we're given what molar solubility is. So we know that s equals 1.2 times 10 to the minus five. So we're already given that. So now we can plug it in, and you may have been able to do a lot of this in your head. That's fine. I need to see your expression for KSP, and I need to see you plug and chug. All right, so we get 1.2, or here, why don't, why don't, I'm gonna follow the whole process. So this is 2s quantity squared and s. So once again, we end up with 4s cubed. Now we need to plug in 4.2, 10 to the minus five, and we need to cube that. So four times, well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. 1.2, 10 to the minus five. Y'all are better button pushers than I am. We wanna cube it, okay? And then we need to multiply by four. So when we do that, we get KSP is equal to 6.91 times 10 to the negative 15. So you still need to figure out your equilibrium ratios there, but most of this just plugging and chugging.